Hey there, fellow website owners. Today, we're going to tackle an important topic securing your contact form 7. With reCAPTCHA v2 and v3, by the end of this video, you will have the knowledge to protect your forms from spam and unwanted submissions. So, let's dive right in. First, we'll focus on reCAPTCHA version 2. We need to install a plugin called reCAPTCHA v2 for contact form 7. Go to the plugin settings and search and install the plugin. After activating the plugin, set reCAPTCHA v2 as the default option under plugin settings. To add reCAPTCHA v2, we'll need a site key and a secret key. Open a new tab in your web browser and search for Google reCAPTCHA. Click on the official Google reCAPTCHA website and sign in using your Google account. Once you're signed in, click on My reCAPTCHAs and then the plus icon to register a new site. Fill in the necessary information, including your website's domain name and the type of reCAPTCHA you want. Select reCAPTCHA v2 checkbox. After registration, you will receive a site key and a secret key. Copy these keys, go back to your WordPress dashboard, and navigate to the Contact Form 7 settings page. Paste these keys in the integration box, save the changes, and add this plugin shortcode at the end of your Contact Form 7. Congratulations! You've successfully added reCAPTCHA v2 to your contact form 7. This will greatly reduce the chances of spam submissions on your website. Now, let's move on to reCAPTCHA v3, which offers even more advanced spam protection without any user interaction. Similar to reCAPTCHA v2, we'll need a site key and a secret key, but you don't need to in any shortcode to your contact form. Go back to the Google reCAPTCHA website, sign in, and click on My reCAPTCHAs. This time, choose reCAPTCHA v3 during the registration process. reCAPTCHA shields you from spam and various forms of automated abuse. By utilizing Contact Form 7's reCAPTCHA integration module, you can effectively thwart malicious form submissions generated by spam bots. Let's discuss the differences between these two types. reCAPTCHA v2. This version typically presents users with a checkbox that they need to tick to verify that they are not a robot. Sometimes, it may prompt users to solve a simple image-based puzzle. Overall, it offers a more interactive and user-engaging experience. V3 provides a score-based system. It evaluates the user's behavior and assigns a score between 0.0 and 1.0, indicating the likelihood of being a bot. This allows for more nuanced spam detection, enabling website owners to set their own threshold and take action accordingly. Overall, while reCAPTCHA v2 offers a more interactive user experience, reCAPTCHA v3 provides a seamless behind-the-scenes protection mechanism. The reCAPTCHA dashboard provides valuable analytics and insights regarding the performance of reCAPTCHA on your website. By navigating to the Analytics section, you can access a wealth of information that helps you understand and evaluate the effectiveness of reCAPTCHA in safeguarding your site against automated abuse and spam. The dashboard presents comprehensive statistics, 
allowing you to gauge the number of reCAPTCHA challenges that were presented to users and the corresponding success rates. This data helps you track the overall performance of reCAPTCHA in accurately differentiating between human users and malicious bots. I hope you found this video helpful in securing your contact form 7 with reCAPTCHA. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends who might find it useful. And don't forget to check out my other contact form 7 related videos for more valuable tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.